Hey everyone, in this video we're going to go over how I pack my backpack, and I will tell you one part goes against how everyone else does it. Okay, thanks for bearing with me on videos. Last week I finished my final exams of my doctor of physical therapy program, something that I've been working for seven years towards. I still have over a year of capstone classes, 10 months of clinical rotations, and I have to study for boards as well. And as I say that, I realize it's going to be very hard to hike, but I will find a way somehow to hike. Okay, so let's get into packing my back. Okay, before we load it all down, I'm gonna go through the order real quick because it kind of matters. And it's also good to see it from a bird's eye view. So starting off is just a regular 12 by 20 op sack and in it, I've got 10 pounds of rice and four pounds of food. You know, volume wise, I think this would be about four or five days of food, so yeah. The next is the tent. This is the Tarp Tent Aeon Li and it has to go in vertically into the tent. Other tents don't have to do that. Um, you can do it horizontally and I'll kind of explain that when I go through the, the packing. The next is my quilt, which is a 30 degree noon attack quilt and on top of it is a Bora down jacket that's just over six ounces so that'll go in next so next goes in this mosquito head net and inside the mosquito head net are gloves socks sun sleeves maybe um, and my long johns after that we'll go in a sleeping pad next we'll go in my fleece especially if I know I'm not gonna need it during the day so this is a Patagonia Kapolein air crew neck but I have other fleeces as well next to go in is the rain gear uh, this is kind of sitting at the top of the pack so these are Montbell rain pants and this is a frog togs uh, ultralight jacket then the very last things that go in are my cook kit which is just a little like alcohol alcohol cook set for cooking dinner, and then my ditty bag. So here's the contents of my ditty bag. There's a lot of stuff in there right now. So yeah, ditty bag will go on top. And lastly, this stuff is the stuff that will ride on the outside. So we've got a spoon, we've got steaks, we've got my water filter and also some water carry there. We've got some food that represents like the day's food that I would carry on the outside. Then a fuel bottle for the alcohol stove. And then I don't have a smart water bottle right now, but this thermos will represent that. So here's my backpack. It's the KS40. It's a 40 liter backpack. And what I do that most people don't do is I put the food bag in first. Most YouTubers do not do that. In fact, most tutorials don't do that, but I think it's the smart way to go. In physics, there's a concept called lever arm, and it basically says the farther a weight is away from your body, the harder it is to control. Imagine holding a weight far away from your body and how much harder it is to hold it when it's out there than it is when it's close to your body. That's why food, which is one of the heaviest things in your pack, needs to be as close to the center of your body as possible. So where's your center of mass located? In general, the total average center of mass of a person's body is located just behind their belly button. For some people, it's gonna be a little higher than the belly button. For most people, it's gonna be lower than the belly button. So the goal for this first move of packing a backpack is to get that food as close to your belly button as possible. The next thing to go in is the tent food's right there, tent's right there, and I tell you what, it doesn't look like it, but all of my down and all of the things I want to keep dry are going to go right next to that tent. So let me show you that. First, a Nylofume bag goes in. Okay, so real quick, I've lowered the edges of the KS40, I've rolled them down so you can see on the inside a little bit better. Here we have the food right here the tent right there, and the Nyla fume bag with just the quilt in it. But I just wanted to show it to you at this point and also bring up this. I only use a Nyla fume bag or a trash compactor bag for the things that need to be kept dry. I don't need to keep my tent dry because it's a tent. And I don't need to keep the food bag dry because it's already in its own plastic bag. So that's how my system kind of varies versus other people's as well. Okay, let's keep packing stuff in. Here's the mosquito net with the extra clothes that I was talking about the fleece, and finally, the sleeping pad. Okay, so now you have everything that's water protected, the tent, and the food. Now all that remains is rain gear, some ditty items, some food for the day, and stuff that rides on the outside. So let's get that in there. Next are ditty items, so like a headlamp, my repair kit, first aid kit, and hygiene kit. And the last thing that goes on the inside, aside from maps, maps would certainly like be riding in here if I need the, needed them as backups. But the last thing to go in is my cook set. And you can see there's even quite a bit of room right here in the center and in the front of the pack as well for any extra items. Good Lord, this is a chunk ass backpack. Okay, so here's the bag fully packed. Again, a lot of room up on the 
collar still. You can see how it's deflecting down. There's definitely room still up there. And then I like to keep water on the right. You can also keep stuff down in this section. Um, I just put the water filter right there for now, but it could also ride over here with the food, the day's food on the left side. And then I have a fuel bottle here, a spoon and steaks. And what I forgot to pack is like a toiletry kit. So like a, a kit with like toilet paper in it that would ride right there. So pretty clean. I want to return to the concept of center of mass and talk about how fanny packs are really good for maximizing center of mass weight carry. I'll probably be checking one out soon because I'm going to start trail videos. I've been resisting it for years, but I finally have started to feel like I want to try to do trail videos. I'm buying new camera gear. I've been experimenting with like small little stories. Like during quarantine, I've been taking little videos and trying to make them into a story. And honestly, I really like the process and the videos that I've just been making for myself. I got to get through clinicals first though. So this is where I turn it over to you. How do you pack your backpack? If you do make the two changes that I make, let me know how it works out for you below. Remember to follow me at, at Matt Shafter at Instagram. Also, if you've made it this far, please consider liking and subscribing. And if you want to learn how to go ultralight, but do it more sensibly, click into that video to learn more. All right. Thanks for watching.